Welcome back. I'm Andrew Baker, and today we're going to delve into a the magic of a single editing technique that can transform your photos, give them a real lift, give them a real spark, and it's adjusting the contrast. It's incredible how this one tweak can really give your images that extra kick, that extra wow. And the best part, we're going to be doing this using an incredibly straightforward and I think underestimated the Microsoft Photos app on Windows devices. So stick around as we explore the simplicity and the effectiveness of this contrast adjustment. This is the first photo where I want to demonstrate the effectiveness of simply adjusting the contrast. Now I've opened up the Photos app on a Windows. I'm working on a laptop at the moment. If you're having trouble finding it, you just type in in the search in the bottom of your search bar there. Type in photos and then the, click on when you see photos app and it will open up. I've opened it up. I've put this image in place and I want to edit this image. So I come up here, we click on this one and then we're going to go to adjustments. Don't worry about anything else at this point. Just opening up the adjustments. And here is the contrast setting. And this is the one that we're focusing on today. This can make such a difference to your photos by no other adjustments whatsoever. Now, this is a JPEG, I should point out. It's not raw. This, this um, software at the moment doesn't accept raw images. This is JPEG which keeps it even more simple and straightforward. There's absolutely space, by the way, for all different types of more sophisticated software. But what I just want to demonstrate here how effective one simple thing. We often think that we need to do all sorts of things and have all sorts of software. No, that certainly has its place. But if you're a keen photographer and you just want to tweak a couple of things, the Photos app can be absolutely brilliant to do this. And don't worry, unless you're using images for very high end use and whatever, often a JPEG is perfectly fine. There's a lot discussed about the differences. And indeed, I've made YouTube uh, video. Check that out about the differences between JPEG and RAW. Anyhow, let's get on with this image. Here we are. We've opened it up. We've got access to the contrast scale. And let's have a look. What difference does it make? Look at that. Already. Already. Look how pronounced that is. And one way to always tell with contrast or indeed any of the other adjustments is you can always just go extreme and then you get to see the true effect it can have. Now, to me, that's not what I'm after. Now, for some people, they might love that effect. But we bring it right back. That's what it looks like. That's the original shot. For me, it's around about here. That's the shot for me. You can go milder. And again, we come back to the original. Look at that. Just by making the small adjustment. There we are. We've adjusted this to the number of 11 in the contrast scale. I personally like it where we go to around about there. There we are at 23. I like that. That's for me. I think that's about right for me. Yeah. So original. There we go. That's it for me. So indeed, 22. So we can see the difference. And then I'll come up here and I will save as a copy. Now, this is the second image. This is a, a winter seascape with a really long exposure. So you see how the, the ocean is almost pastel-like in color. That's a very long, it's a winter's day and very long exposure to get that effect on the ocean. So we come up here, come back over to the editing. That's the button that you click. So and then you come over to adjustments. And we go to contrast again. And for me, it's not going to be too much on this, but it just watch what a kick it gives it. There it is. And again, we're around about 21, 22. 
for me that's probably just about where it should both be I'll just check in fact even a little bit less around about there I am at probably at 18 but you see the difference look at the difference all look at the difference that the cloud is having by lifting that contrast there's the original there we are bang and again if you want to see what sort of extremes now it, it can be fun to go to the extremes and indeed it becomes a different type of work of art for me it certainly there's nothing wrong with it but it's not what i'm on about this is what i'm on about giving that's the original shot from in camera no editing's gone on that's the original jpeg straight out of camera i come along and i lift that contrast just a bit and to me, it just gives it that extra lift. It really gives it that extra wow factor. So again, come along, save a copy. Now, this is a different type of shot. Here we are, obviously, with some mushrooms there. It's a still life, if you like. And we come over to the editing. We click adjust again, and we come over to contrast. One of the things that contrast can do is not only just give it a kick, but notice how it gives it the extra depth. Like just, to me, it's around about there. Not too much, maybe even a little bit less. But you see how it's given the contrast, this given added depth at the back here. The back of the image, it really has given it added ex extra depth at the back. It's given these a kick and a lift in the foreground. Sorry for the, those words coming up all the time. To me, it makes such a difference. Look at that. Wow. Bang. Gives the image an immediate wow. And of course, we can go crazy. And to me, that's just way too much, way over the top. Bring it right back. That's the original, which is a nice image. But we'd like, if we just add a bit of contrast, it gives it that extra kick. Now, for me, it doesn't need to be much at all on this one. In fact, Around about 13, 14 is fine. So I'm going to save that. More often than not, you, you really, you don't want to go overboard. It's more, it's very easy to go, oh, wow, this is, this is great. This is a great effect and just overdo it all. But occasionally images suit them where you can go more extreme. And I'll show you what I mean. This is an example where you can go more extreme. So I come over, we click the button up here. This gets it to the editing section. And we go to adjustments and we're coming back over to contrast. Now I'll give it a, a gentle shift and already that's nice. Uh, hang on, that's, that's a gentle shift. There we are at like 13. And it's a nice, giving it a really nice extra kick. But this is one of those occasions where if you go more extreme, give it a real kick, that it can work. And that's often that goes way too extreme. But I quite like this one where you do go more extreme because it's just simply more about straightforward colors, etc. But again, it's very easy to overdo these things. So if in doubt, be conservative and underdo the contrast setting so if you think like if you're not sure say you're thinking oh is it 21 or is it 53 go the lower one but for me it's probably rest on this one it's around about a 34 but it's amazing how sometimes the, the higher level ones can work but that's an example where a higher one can work but on this i'm leaving it on 36 gives it a really big kick Love it. Back to our landscape shot here where we've got low cloud or the fog, the low cloud sitting there. And we open up, come over to editing. Again, we're back over. There's all sorts of other filters here and everything. I'm not going to complicate this video. I will make other videos. And if you'd like videos about specific aspects of editing, please do leave it in the comments below. But again, we've opened it up for some editing. 
and we go to this one setting. That's all we're doing with this. I'll make another video where we do go through some of these other settings as well, but we're keeping it super simple. And on this, we don't need to go much at all in my mind on that. That's pretty much it, actually. Hang on, even less. There we are. But you see the difference. As I make the adjustment, focus in on this area. Watch as it just goes up, just that little bit. There we go. Just gives it a real lift, gives that cloud a lift. It really does. This one's more subtle, but very powerful at the same time. It gives that image an extra kick. So experiment with different types of images as well. Now in this, I'm, I realize that the ones that I've selected don't include people shots or anything else like that. So I'll do some more in another video where including people shots. So this is another landscape with the, the, um, the bales. And so we'll come over to editing and adjustments and to contrast. Now, the light is reasonably flat in this shot. But if we just bring this up, look at that. Isn't it interesting how not it is at contrast, but look at that lovely lift in color saturation as well. So in this case, not only, again, I'll just go back. There we go. The light's quite flat. We give it a lift and it certainly does. It adds depth. See the separation that it gives of the bales. But look at the color saturation. Look at that kick, extra kick that it gets. Okay, we don't want to overdo it. We don't want to make the colors. Like if we go right up here, we're looking awfully artificial and, and we're losing. It's just over the top. It really is OTT. So we bring it back. There we are at zero. And we're going to bring it up around about there for me. 32. I like it. So again, it's just this one adjustment. We've made no other adjustment. These are JPEGs straight out of the camera, shot like this. Come along, pop it in the Photos app on your Windows device. I'm on a laptop at the moment. And open it up and just make that one adjustment. Save it, put it in your downloads or onto USB stick or anywhere where you want to put it. And it really does make a significant difference. So there you have it. By simply making this one adjustment, adjusting the contrast, by using the straightforward Microsoft Photo app, you can have such an impact on your images. You can make that adjustment that makes a big difference. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it the thumbs up, subscribe for more photography tips. And remember, sometimes less is more. It's very easy to get sucked down the whole sort of... Um, world of editing and get super into it. Now, if you're into it, fantastic. By all means, go ahead and knock yourself out. But if you're just super keen on your photography and you want to give your images that bit of a, a polish, a bit of a tweak, give it that final touch, you, it makes you realize you don't have to spend hours on this. Go in, just make an adjustment. Go ahead now and muck around with your own photos. Go in and just alter that contrast on the photos that you've got and see what effect it can have. So until I see you in the next video, happy photography. Have fun with it.